Welcome to the Nathan.net. In this video, I'm going to go over image uh, metadata and why I like to remove it and the tools I like to use. Uh, starting with the tools, I like to use the image magic uh, packages, I guess you could call it. And just because I like it, they're easy to script with and they're very powerful, I find out. But you can use, there's a ton of other tools you can use from the command line. So the first thing is that I took an image with my iPhone and this is the image right here. You can see it's just my screen and then also has a, a sticker there. So we'll close that. And this is the image. And to look at the metadata, we can use strings with the image name. We'll pipe it to less. Whoop. Typo. And if we search for iPhone, you can see in there it's a couple times it says iPhone 7, it's a back camera, it tells a lot of information about it. More information I like to give out. And also, I have the city information disabled. The location information, but I think it's still in there. Um, well, there's another way we'll look at it. So we could also use identify. And that is a tool when you pass verbose. And it comes with image magic. And then we'll look at it. So you could see right here in the EXIF information, that's the stuff with the iPhone and the things we want to remove. But this is also the location based information here. And this also has the time and some other things on it of when it was taken. So when we uh, modify this, it's going to change the time. And there's two different tools that you can use. One is convert, and then the other one is mogrify. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But the difference is convert um, will make up another file, and then uh, mogrify will actually change it in place. And the option for this is just strip. So let's take a look at that. And also show something interesting that comes from that. So if we just do strip image, well, first let's make a backup. Just call it .org. Now, if we want to take a look at the output, we could use diff to compare them. Well, to compare the output of identify. But it's not actually uh, the command. We want to see the process. So, like the command, you could do something like that and then some command. But if you want to see the process, you do arrow like that. And then we could take this string right here. And because I made a backup of the original, which if I was scripting, the whole point of using this over convert is that you don't want to back up. But for demonstration purposes, I made a backup. And we pipe that to less. You can see the differences here. So we'll come down, and this is all the EXIFI stuff's been stripped. You'll notice that the time has been changed on this. Um, slightly it's not quite the same oh I made a backup of it earlier so that's the reason why it's been changed so I've been playing with this image a little bit so let's take a look at it though and let's see what the interesting thing it has done you can see now that it's flipped where the original was not so there is another option for that so if we do a copy and let's make the original And then we will, instead of replacing it, let's call this one just two. So now we have two files there. And if we do, actually we could do the same thing. But we want to add the, let me look at the man page. It's auto orient. 
scripting it. You don't have to remember that because you do it once and you forget about it. Now let's see what that does. So I'm over here, I can refresh it, and I can open this one up, and oh, it looks correct. Compared to without it, it kind of turns it sideways, and I don't know if I can open the, yep, there's the original. So, let's take a look at my diff output again, but let's compare the two to the stripped. So here's my two stripped ones. And you can see the things that are different is print size, resolution, those uh, actually the same print size and geometry. Those are the main ones that are different. There is also some of them use that EXIF. Let's compare. So the EXIF, there is an orientation in here, and you can see that it's a six. And then there is the orientation here, right top. Changing that orientation to right top, you can adjust that. It didn't, you know, change it at all. The geometry is what it looks like actually is changing it. And uh, the print size is another one. So there you go. Um, that's easy to script, especially if you use the auto orient. Ain't orient. And uh, you can go through whole directories and change them in place. You can also do a, a wildcard if you just want to run it a one-off. And then that will run it off everything and strip everything. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, go out and remove location and camera information from all your uh, photos. This should also work on uh, PNGs also. But uh, most phones are probably going to be JPEG. So that's why I did this as an example. Uh, have a good one. Bye.